welcome to the Creative Schools Week Online Celebration 2021. My name's Maura Trassa and I'll be your host today and I'm so excited because we've taken everything that's great about Creative Schools Week and made this amazing jam-packed TV show. So get the popcorn out, sit back and enjoy. We received a huge number of artistic entries from schools all over the country which will be featured throughout our incredible episodes. So well done on all your hard work and creativity. The last year has been a challenge for everyone, so it's fantastic to get to see so many skilled, ambitious and creative young people keeping us all on our toes. We would like to extend a huge thank you to the fabulous artists, creative practitioners and organisations who have worked with your schools. And another massive thank you to your teachers and your creative associates for all their support. Gurmila Mahagi. The Creative Schools Initiative supports schools and centres to put the arts and creativity at the heart of children's and young people's lives. This initiative provides opportunities for children and young people to build their artistic and creative skills. This year, our theme is Brave New Future, celebrating students' courage in the face of a tough year and looking towards a bright new future. But before we kick off, I'm delighted to welcome a very important guest to open our online celebration today. Please give a very warm virtual welcome to the Director of the Arts Council, Maureen Kennelly. Thank you so much. And on behalf of the Arts Council and Creative Schools, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you all to our Creative Schools Week online celebration. In the next hour, you'll get to see the wonderful work created by children and young people in schools and youth reach centres all across the country. This work was developed over the last three years during their participation in creative schools. I'm absolutely blown away by the creativity, the ingenuity and the positivity you are about to see. It truly is an inspiration to us all. I'd like to especially thank you, the children and young people who fill your schools with creativity. And it's not just this week, but every week. I hope all of you enjoy Creative Schools Week as you learn about the many other creative school communities across the country. Enjoy every minute and thank you. Gurmila Mahagat Maureen for your time today at the Creative Schools Week online celebration. Now it's time to introduce our first Creative Schools feature of the day from St. Benin's National School, County Galway. The pupils in costume paraded while reciting poetry, singing, dancing and playing music. They were joined by local artists Sean Kane and Sharon Shannon in the woods where it was all filmed. Have a look.
A huge congratulations to St. Benin's National School on your fantastic film. Give yourselves a huge pat on the back. Well done. Now next up we have Lisa Cliff with her workshop titled The Colours of My Dance. Let's check it out. Hello everybody. My name is Lisa Cliff. I work as a creative associate with the Creative Schools programme and I also work as a contemporary dance artist. Thank you for joining the workshop today. It's a movement creative dance session. We're going to be thinking about colours. We're going to be listening to our bodies. We're going to draw. And of course, we're going to woohoo dance. Let's warm up. I'm thinking about the colour blue. Blue makes me feel cool, so I want to warm up my body by rubbing and massaging gently or vigorously, depending on how your body's feeling today. Take some time to warm up, rubbing and massaging different parts of your body. You can pause the video at any time and come back to me. Your body is warm and you're feeling like you've lots of energy. I'm thinking about the color green. What does green make you think of? Hmm. I think of the earth below me, the green grass flowing. My body feels strong and I sway side to side. Can you try that with me? The color yellow. When you think about yellow, what do you dream of? Well, I think about the sun rising to the sky and setting the sun rising high and setting. Our workshop is all about colour and movement. Do you have a favourite colour? A colour that you like to look at, wear, or perhaps some days you feel like a particular colour? Okay, I'd like you to get some colours ready on your table. You can use a pot of colours or the colours from your pencil case and you need some paper. Go and get yourself ready, pause the video and come back to me. <laughs> okay, you have your colours. Take a look at your selection of colours. Slowly choose one that you feel interested in today. We're going to play, dance and draw with this colour. It's an experiment. Allow your colour to move and dance across the page. What are you interested in? How does your colour want to move today? Give yourself time to experiment and to draw, finding different ways of letting your colour dance and mark the paper. Try things out. Allow yourself to be creative and be brave. Explore with different colours. Let me show you some other colours I've used and the dance that they've left on the paper. <laughs> Here you can see some other coloured 
dances that have been left on my paper. I'm excited about seeing how your colours dance on the paper. Is it just one colour? Or maybe as you practice, you can use different colours. The next thing to do is to take one of your drawings and we're going to dance that colour with all our bodies. We can start in the classroom. You can look at your drawing and beginning with your hand, express that drawing with your hand. Maybe try a different part of your body, your shoulder or your knee, and find your way of showing your colour to everybody. Start in the classroom, and as you get brave, go outside with your drawing and let your colour dance. Perhaps you have the same colour as somebody else, and you could come together and develop a dance for yellow. Or maybe this is a dance just for you, just for you and that colour that you feel like today. Have a look at some of my dances. They might inspire you. I can't wait to maybe hear about and to see your dances. Perhaps you might share them on your school website or you can share them with your friends. Good luck. It was lovely dancing with you today. Enjoy the Creative School Celebration Week. Bye. Well, a big thank you to Lisa for such a fantastic workshop. Next up, we've got a video montage of artwork featuring some more of our creative schools.
A huge congratulations to all the schools for their fascinating range of visual art. Now it's time to introduce Children's Books Ireland. They are the national charity and arts organisation that champions every child's right to develop a love of reading. Through their many activities and events, they aim to engage young people with books, foster a greater understanding of the importance of books for young people, and act as a core resource for those with an interest in books for children in Ireland. We are Children's Books Ireland, and we're working for a future where every child is a reader, where the joy of reading is felt by all children on the island of Ireland, regardless of their circumstances. Reading has the power to change lives. It builds empathy, improves mental well-being, and is a more powerful factor in life achievement than socioeconomic background. Reading helps us to understand ourselves and others and the world around us. And fundamentally, reading brings joy. This year, we gave away over 16,000 books to children and young people in schools, direct provision centres, hospitals and homeless services. We published over 30 recommended reading lists on themes from superheroes and sport to inclusivity and representation. With Unpust, we sent the Imagination Playbook to over 215,000 children to encourage them to draw, read and write their way through a tough spring. We announced our new laureate Nanog, Anya Lynn, and our KPMG Children's Books Ireland award winners from our homes to yours. Our book doctors wrote reading prescriptions at our new virtual book clinics. Mind Yourself, the Mental Health and Wellbeing Reading Guide was sent to every school and library in the Republic of Ireland and the Books Make Things Better Reading Guide shone a light on the extraordinary work made this year by Irish writers, illustrators, translators and publishers. With the support of our partners, so much has been possible as we work to make sure that every child can become a reader that artists are supported to make great work and that adults are guided towards expert information that will help them to raise readers. Thank you for all your support in 2020. A huge thank you to Children's Books Ireland. There's nothing better than curling up with a good book. Up next, we have St. Joseph's Special School, County Galway, with Hear Our Voice Outdoors. This was a wonderful theatre experience where Hear Our Voice was adapted for COVID-19 and performed at St. Joseph's Special School as part of the Bobbero Festival.
What an amazing submission by St. Joseph's Special School. Rinne Fad on Uber Next up, we have Mika van Mecklen with her Let's Draw workshop. Let's get those paintbrushes out. Hello everyone. My name is Mika and I'm an artist. And I'd like to make a drawing with you today. So if you can get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil, um, and if you can't find a pencil, just use a biro or a marker, anything that you can find. And I'm going to colour in my drawing. So I have my brushes here and my watercolour set. So the thing is, I live on a farm and I have a pony called Diamond and I'd really like to make a drawing of her. So I'd like to invite you to come along with me first so we can go and meet her. Let's go. So this is my pony Diamond. I've had her for almost 20 years so she's quite old and she's a little bit cheeky. She likes to come up to the house to eat the grass. And she has a really lovely soft nose and a white stripe. And she has brown socks on all her feet. She likes to be stroked, but she also likes to be independent and she loves a good scratch. So her favorite thing is to get some, some uh, bits to eat and this really makes her excited. She tries to open the door, but she's not allowed. Um, so this time of year, if the weather is good, I just leave the door of her stable open so she can come in and out. And in the summertime, she goes up the mountain. She likes to chomp her food. She's really tame and quite gentle. She makes me laugh. Here she comes. Okay, come on then. Diamond, see you next time. So let's go inside now and make a drawing. Um, just make an outline with your pencil. Um, I'm standing up at the moment because it just gives me a better overview of my paper. And I have a book underneath my paper with some cardboard underneath so that it's elevated get a good perspective on what I'm doing. And I'm going quite light with my pencil, just until I'm sure I have the right outline. And once I'm sure, I, I go a bit heavier. And I think I'm ready now to start coloring in. So I'm gonna put down a base color of brown, and I'm gonna check just check quickly on my phone to see what her face looks like and she has a white stripe down her nose. Sometimes it's good to use a picture to get an idea but you don't have to you can just use your imagination and I'm doing her legs now and they're a lot darker than the rest of her body and her back and I'm slowly building up the paint and sometimes I take breaks in between to let the paint dry and if I put on a little bit too much I dab it with my tissue paper 
and I use another piece of paper to put my paint on just so that it's a little bit more mixed and a bit easier to apply because it can be quite runny sometimes so just keep building up the layers and dab it a little bit again and I'll do her mane she has quite a big fluffy mane and let it dry for a while and just slowly keep building up I'm pretty happy with it now, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have to do her hooves as well. They're a little bit lighter than everything else. And just put some accents here and there, so a few kind of darker areas, outline, outlines. And that's it. So here's our drawing. I hope you like it. I really enjoyed making it and I hope you get the chance to make some drawings in the future. Bye everybody. <laughs>
clover, many lives were lost. The leaders gathered to talk about. Baby, I want selfish. Peace has finally come to Elchdor. What makes the Mercy School so special to you? What makes the Mercy School so special to me is the teachers and my friends. Like, all the people are nice and they all have different personalities and it, it just makes the school what it is. Well, it's like a second home to me. I love going there and I love meeting the people there. It's very positive and everyone has good energy. And the sports teams are very including and enjoyable. Uh, when I got here, everyone's been so kind to me and it's just really good. <laughs> What is your favourite memory from your time at the Mercy School? My favourite memory would probably be backstage helping with the infants when we got to dress them up in costumes for their plays. When my little brother first came to the school. With in second class when we made the paper mache volcanoes with Miss Taylor. Um, the time we went to play um, the football tournament with St Joseph's. I liked last year when we went to the Opera House to see you play a bit of famine. My favourite memory from Mercy School is playing rounders. My favourite memory was all the school tours we went on. When we went up to Artie Studios to watch movies and our class was the only class in the school that got to do that. I really liked the piece prams we did in fifth class. Um, so one time when I was in second class we doing the school play and I was a dog for the school play but my only line was woof woof and I was too nervous to say that. I still did it anyway. Uh, once I was uh, Santa Claus in the second class for a school play, I had to jump down the chimney. <laughs> What do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I like to do TikTok. I love to game with my friends and I love to do dangerous stunts. Uh, I like to play with my friends outside and bake. I like uh, gaming and when it's a sunny day, I like to go out on my skateboard. Um, I like drama, art, singing and um, playing with my dog. I like to play games with my friends and board games with my family. Whenever I hang out with friends, I, I get really relaxed with them. Um, I like to play Gaelic football and I play with the Josephs and I like to go to the park with my friends sometimes. I like to make origami stuff and uh, play outside. Um, I like to draw or paint. <laughs> What would you like to do when you grow up? I probably want to be an author because I've said storytelling a lot and if not that, a scientist maybe. When I grow up I'd like to play football for Ireland. Uh, well, when I grow up I would like to be an architect. Um, I would like to be a stand-up comedian and, or if not that, I'd like to be a professional kickboxer. I'd probably be a scientist and that's actually my dream do job as well. I would like to travel or be an interior designer. I'd want to go and like explore places and travel. Well, I'd be a marine biologist and then on the weekends maybe coach gymnastics a bit. Probably a soccer player. I would like to play for the Wexford hurling team and win an All-Ireland. I would probably like to be a teacher or play games for football for Oxford. I would like to be a nail technician and an artist. I would like to be an actress or a dancer. I'd know that I'd like to travel the world and then move to Japan. I would like to work in an animal shelter. If I could be anything, I would like to be a scientist. Well, there's multiple things I want to be, but the main thing is an author. I would probably want to travel the world and then live in France and become a writer.
What wonderful submissions there by St. Luke's National School and Mercy School. A huge well done to everyone involved. Now I'm delighted to be joined in studio by well-known musician and percussionist Nick Bailey. Nick, or Milamagadas of Lart Leninia. Take us back, Nick. When did you first decide that you wanted to study music or pursue a career in music and in percussion in particular? Well, when I look back now, it becomes obvious to me that I was into music before I was into music. And I'm going to explain that to you now. <laughs> so before I had any contact with a musical instrument at all, I can remember as a child sitting, watching TV and being completely engrossed in what was going on musically. Even like even in the ad breaks, my parents would go to do something else, you know, and like there would be noise in the room and I'd be like, shh, shh quiet guys, I want to hear this ad or I want to hear, and it was it was amazing. But now I realize I was just listening to all these little musical lines going through. That, you know, amazing, really, when you think back. And were you one of those kids who always had the pots and pans around them with the spoons going 90 the whole time? I was a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, your worst nightmare. <laughs> but talk to us a little bit about what it's like to tour and what it's like to be on stage and what you enjoy about that aspect of your work. Touring is, is amazing and I've done so much of it in my life and I am truly grateful that that music, my music has enabled me to see the world. It, like that is just unbelievable. I, I never stop being grateful for that. I've seen some amazing places. It's every bit of touring is amazing from the time you leave home, the plane journeys, the bus journey, getting to the first hotel, finding the first venue, unpacking all your gear because your equipment might have shipped over three or four weeks in advance, you know. So you've got to open all the cases and check everything is okay, set it up for the first time, get your sound check in, and suddenly you're looking at this calendar and it's four months long with all these cities and venues and there's a realisation like, right, yeah, here we are, we're on tour again. You know, it's, it's amazing. And at 8pm every night you are game on, game face on, ready for high energy to thousands of people. You know, it really is incredible. I'm sure it hasn't always been plain sailing to get to where you are now and to be as successful as you are. I'm sure it's been a bit of a roller coaster, but when you get rejected or when you get pitfalls along the way, I'm sure you learn as well. Have you had any setbacks or any strange or scary experiences that you have learned from? I've had I've had lots, uh, re like in my early career, rejections, 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 and a curious thing about rejections is um, you have to know how to deal with them. Mm -hmm. You know, you can really let them knock you back, or you can make them work for you to strengthen you. And I read a, a great article one time about Sting. We all know Sting. And when Sting was young, he had this great routine that he used to go through. And he used to go into, if he was going for a job, you know, an audition or something like that, he used to bring his guitar with him, literally inviting the people, you know, to say to him, do you want to play a song for us? So he might be in with 20 other people for these auditions. And then eventually somebody would ask him, so, you know, will you, will you play a song for us? And that was his cue. He would stand up and say, do you know what? Don't waste my time. You guys are wasting my time. And he'd leave. And by the time he got home, the job offer would be there for him, you know? Amazing. But so do you walk around with drums? So <laughs> I don't walk around with drums. But when it comes to rejection, I, I learned a very valuable lesson that uh, I was reading a very good book one time by a guy called George Lois, who's big into advertising and advertising campaigns. And one of his important lessons was you can't teach a crab to walk straight. Crabs walk sideways, that's it. You're not going to teach one to walk straight. So the, the lesson there was if you come across somebody who doesn't get you, that's fine. It, it doesn't say anything negative about you, what you do. And we have to learn. We have to learn that. If somebody doesn't get what I do, that's not an attack on me. That doesn't make me any less of an artist. They just don't get me. Cool. And there are 10 people out there who do get me for that one. But, you know, so that's how once I learned that lesson, that really turned things around for me. And, uh, you know, you just use each kind of setback to channel 
push yourself on, you know, and go out, go even harder, if anything. When yeah. you look back at all the gigs that you've done, I'm sure there have been many standout moments and tours that you have been on. But is there one in particular that stands out for you? There are two, if I if I can. I couldn't I couldn't choose. I really had to think about it. <laughs> um, the first one is, and I, I think the top one is Kelly Clarkson's Stronger Tour in Wembley, because in in the in the finale we featured very strongly you know and here I was through all the work from the age of 10 on rubber practice pad and playing on tables and you know just discipline and hard work had got me to the front of the stage beside you know a huge star like this that that was a great standout moment for me and I guess the second one was with Celtic Woman when we performed in Red Rocks Amphitheatre in Colorado, which was, for any U2 fans, that was where the U2 Under the Blood Red Sky video was made. Both the venue and the band I was in, it was a band of Irish music legends that I had grown up listening to on CDs and, you know, imagine imagine meeting those guys someday and suddenly I'm on that stage to so many thousand people in a band with them. That, that was such a huge moment for me. That was Nick Bailey there joining us for our Creative School Week's online celebration. Up next, we have Gwail Skull and Longford with their stop motion film, Fun Class Adventures, a wonderfully inventive film. In the Yishin by Skull Hotslin Leifa as Kunde Hiri, they should skun on Kad E. Krohiot, and Sreen skun Alin Intoch a Krohishit. Lanagi Uriah Shoe in the cow jar. Kate Hanshin. Jerry is stuck around Upper Leah. Not Wilmwich. Istina Ash Duck to Leah. Germahagus. Fair. It's on carrot brush and shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Care they carrot brush. Neil Sutton. This clawed hell of you say you're deadly weapon. I'm Fage Rome, eh? Me Fage. Can this knock with Liz like it's care they carrot brush? Tashi Koa. Guys, my core didn't open, like fake and jig on a dini a tart in me hat air straight. And you, my la braha. I'm a cock and milish. Neil cock and milish. Tommy check over. Kept him go warm me on two shroom down. Ta ugly and thou in her. Tommy Dillis Jack. Okay, Tommy Shay Dillis Jack Freshman. Not just Jack, Tashi Dan Shira. Not. Nabia Amajok is no fake. Neelam Amajok Tashi Dan Shira. Not a trap. 
Power Jagiri Nis Kungari Donam Flushunda. For me, for me. Top port lunch in August, top beast ball Rio, August Yander Newton Fen. Big. It's even a me sha. Came pa. Oh yeah. Stop it, cause shock on here, Lily. Shh, form a character, Sharice. Shot on the flute. Fish and ruddy. Fish and ruddy again. Hmm, near the sagum carade. Oh, wow. Fake, K. S. Tom and Jane. Carade the doors to Lily. Be to roll. Tom and Potion Ray. Eat tuck. Tear the horla. Need quivering on. Need quivering on what a bear called ya. The cock must just in the snock make. Rahim with the rash, the John Cron chalk, a slayer on which for young shin. Okay, Jane for my chin. To Broner and McCordia, when I may. Is Ermsa a ta and looked on which cordia we reach? Yeah! To all is her and McCordia, I reach much. Today is your birthday, today is your birthday, today is your birthday, today. Tommy, Dull Hunma, Flusha, Glana, Sue, Slash, and Carrot Bush. Slan. Kation. Volum Drapidorox, Yanov Is Misha Grona, Is Malam of it and Markia Kapo, Brahim Sosta Agasir? Is Balam of it, Igbakal, Bavalam of it in Mavakir Prefazunta? Is Misha Roshim, Is Malam, Rinka Gwela, Graham, Sir, Lon Sosta, August, Winninoch, Asim Fame. Bavalam Markiach, Dayenov. Is Misha Rory, Is Malam, Ave, Eg, Imrule, Ganov, Graham, Ahasoch. Bavalum Wili Yenever Rohar Is Mr. Kosh Is Malum Ave Egbokal Brahim Ser Meskat Yenav Bavalum Mavalku Shane Ave Egon and Makan Shah Is Misha Billy? Is Malam American footballer Immortal Majahar Patrick? Brahim Ahasak. Bavalam Driftal Akar Yenov. Is Misha Brian? Is Malam Veg Tarrant? Brahim Govillum Expri? 
Is Mr. Julian is Malam Kyo. Braham Gunelian Malam Sminti Fane. Bavalam Dalek Iskrocht. Beg Ohis Aram Nerverhig Maya Isk. Is Mr. Liam Is Malam Vegre. Brahim Akli. Bavalam Japadorthine. Is Misha Lishna is Mala Markia Brown Sir Tak Hajo Sveshi is a Gamla Kapo. Bavalam Kapala all Denig me Lassana Lesh. Is Misha Mali is Malam of the egg turn of Gokikta, Brahm Sona Sosta Sir, Bavala Markith Kapa Yenov. Is Misha Neon is Malam Jahang Pitan Brahm Sona Sosta. Is Misha Tomas, is Bottom Red for Morak, Braham Sosta or Yenneth? Bavanam, a vet egg to mount Tarahor Murano at Manishina. Is Misha Scott, is Malam Tarrant, Braham Sosta? Bovalin linked air on trampoline. Well, Abed in tochen chen o well skol on Longford ag skol hatslin leaf a tabula bas more tilse ek holagana evi parta. And now for our final performance, we've got a video montage featuring some more of our creative schools, which we think really captured the vast amount of work, dedication and talent in our schools around the country. Well, you get a good top of some mustard. What's that about 
Well done to all the schools involved in that fabulous compilation. Wow, well, what a show, everyone. That's it from me. Until next time, on behalf of Creative Schools, I'd like to thank everyone for all their work and for all their wonderful creations. Before we head off, all of us here from Creative Schools would like to give some special shout outs to some very special people. The Creative Associates for their time and dedication in producing some fantastic workshops for us to partake in. Thank you to the artists and organisations for providing us with some great inside knowledge into their everyday role. Thank you to all the children and young people who took part and submitted such amazing entries. You deserve all the praise. And finally, a huge thank you to all the teachers. Mille Buches, Guntakiacht agus an Obirar Fad Arinishib. Thank you again to everyone who took part in your amazing projects. That's it from all of us at Creative Schools Week online celebration. Have a fantastic week. Have some fun and celebrate. Make sure to share your photos and videos of your Creative Schools Week under the hashtag Creative Schools. Gadzin Khedarella, Wemshimor Tsasa, Fanagi Slam. Thank you.